Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Okay, Mr. Ruki Sam dekat Malaysia balik <laughs> Okay So, apa khabar semua? Um, saya masih belum fully adjust eh Sorry eh, kalau belakang nampak macam semak ke apa ke Saya memang belum fully adjust lagi dengan uh, Malaysia punya weather Okay, sekarang hujan Okay, memang untung tu timing saya balik dia eh Okay, at least tak berapa panas macam saya expect eh Sebab de- masa dekat Europe tu Banyaknya kosong apa kosong degrees ke 3-4 degrees So saya risau juga balik ni saya akan terkejut Tapi saya memang tak sihat eh um, Sejak saya balik memang saya senang nak masih lagi Orang kata apa uh, Demam, bagai semua okay? Memang kurang sihat lah Jadi saya banyak ber, orang kata masih mengejas pada suhu dan juga mengejar pada masa eh sebab saya masih tak boleh tidur secara normal eh okey dia jet lag tu masih in effect sebab terlalu lama saya ada dekat Europe eh so okey kita stop cerita pasal saya um, saya nak cerita apa ini okey so kalau you all ingat eh masa saya dekat um, Bratislava okey siapa yang tengok video saya masa dekat Bratislava saya ada buat um, di Slovakia tu Saya ada buat satu video dekat Castle Bratislava Saya mention tentang um, Apa dia panggil? Saya mention saya ada uh, Sharekan ilmu tentang Split dengan consolidation Apa beza antara dua tu Okay so Split dengan consolidation Lepas tu especially yang consolidation tu Saya dah pesan Hati-hati kalau company yang suka praktis Consolidation Campur Share Capital Reduction Okay saya dah mention Dia akan Cuba untuk Clearkan balance sheet dia Nampak cantik And then Saham tu Sebenarnya company bermasalah Lepas tu dia akan jatuh lagi Lepas tu Okay so siapa ingat Ada viewers tak hari ni uh, Pukul berapa sekarang Pukul 5.30 Harap-harap ada Viewers eh Saya nak check saya punya Facebook eh Sekejap Okay, kebetulan boleh refer pada satu case eh. Okay, so apa saja yang saya share ni Okay, is everything is educational eh. Dia tidak ada um, Anything yang saya share tidak ada berbentuk untuk um, Mengajak you sama ada you membeli atau menjual Okay, anything decision making Okay, saya buat disclaimer pada awal eh. Anything decision making adalah You punya decision okay. Sebagai seorang orang kata pengajar Kita hanya menggunakan contoh-contoh ni Sebagai orang kata education Alright, it's education so that We don't repeat the mistakes in the future Alright So, adakah saya tengah live? Uh, ia menggunakan contoh ah, okay. ni Sebagai orang kata Suara education ya. Alright, it's education so that Tak ada viewers ke? Terus saya nak kena tunggu malam loh Baru ada Baru ada viewers sikit okay, Kadang-kadang uh, apa Timing nak live kan Sebab ialah orang balik kerja apa semua So kalau kita ada viewer tu Better sikit lah Daripada saya duduk cakap sorang-sorang ni kan Okay, pasaran saham overall macam bagi saya lah eh Sejak saya balik ni saya tengok banyak perubahan harga eh Banyak saham yang actually jatuh eh Compare dengan waktu sebelum saya fly eh Sebelum saya fly saya dah ada like uh, apa Rakaman visual lah dalam saya punya mind eh Price-price of the stocks eh So bila saya balik uh, memang banyak betul perubahan in terms of harga eh Tapi macam saya mention video mana eh Video di... Di Tower Bridge Di Tower Bridge dekat London Saya ada mention kenapa 
saya suka uh, insurance company eh okey sebab saya dah cakap eh memang company dia insurance lebih resilient pada change on market sebab dia volatility dia tak ada so bila saya balik ni saya tak surprise takaful boleh siap naik lagi okey biar line semua jatuh takaful boleh naik uh, long pack pun boleh maintain and ada company company insurance lain yang steady pun macam allianz pun masih juga maintain So, boleh nampak eh, kekuatan certain stocks eh, regardless. Sebab dia bukan orang kata stocks yang orang main. Eh. It's not um, where traders akan enjoy to buy that stock. Sebab stock tu tak ada volatility. Okay, tapi bila dia move, dia naik nanti, dia naik, dia terbang, dia terbang baik. Eh. Memang dia akan pergi jauh. Alright, sebab tu saya macam saya selalu kata, at the end of the day, stock market is for the investor. Alright, investor yang akan dapat pulangan paling besar and pulangan yang paling lumayan okay at the end of the day long term investor saya rasa saya memang dah live ni cuma maybe audience saya tak ada lah mungkin uh, yelah orang apa balik kerja kan so far saya tengok kat screen satu lagi ni tak ada tak ada orang tengah ni ke ada yang tengah tengok tapi tak dapat nak type ke sebab tengah driving ke Okay, tajuk hari ni ni agak penting ke actually eh okay, uh, Saya nak recap balik yang Saya dah mention kat Bratislava tu You have to be careful Mula-mula kena faham eh Apa itu share consolidation And then you have to be careful of understanding Apa yang dimaksudkan dengan share capital reduction Okay So, bila ada combination of this both ni Itu yang paling scary eh Okay, dulu Masa saya mula-mula masuk um, Dalam Orang kata start masuk eh Sebagai remiser eh Okay And then, yelah saya punya colleagues kan semua mostly ah uh, just like you know the old old remiser lama kan so dengar je share capital reduction ni oh, negatif 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 okay tapi bila saya minta explanation dia orang tak dapat nak bagi explanation dekat saya okay so at the end of the day saya kena belajar sendiri apakah yang dimaksudkan dengan share capital reduction tu what actually happen to the balance sheet Okay So it was interesting lah Nak memahami tu Okay That time saya Shareholder equity Benda pun tak faham tau Apa benda ni Shareholder equity Okay Coming from engineering background Tak pernah belajar Accounts Then duk, Masa duk buka Financial statement Macam tu lah Okay Tapi yalah Years over years Macam saya post Dalam saya punya personal Facebook No one is stupid It's just The difference is Whether You are tenacious Or whether you are lazy That's it Okay, kalau you are tenacious, you akan tetap cari jawapan tu sampai jumpa So, saya memang that type Memang saya terus dan terus cari jawapan dia Okay, and that was a very good lesson Sebab dia macam ni eh Ilmu Yang mana kita cari sendiri Dengan mana yang kita just ambil jalan mudah uh, Apa Kita nak tunggu jawapan dari orang Kita ataupun Kita ah uh, Macam lebih kuat macam tu lah Nak tunggu jawapan dari orang-orang Kita tak nak cari sendiri Kita tak nak buat pembacaan sendiri Ilmu tu lekat dengan tak lekat Okay. Orang yang cari sendiri lain Dia memang lekat sampai bila-bila Dia bukan yang macam nak kena recall balik Hari-hari okay, Besok hafal balik Oh ni definition dia Lusa hafal balik Tak ada Saya tak sebut pasal share capital reduction Dah bertahun-tahun dah Tapi I still faham konsep dia Alright So maybe Macam tak ada juga viewers Tapi tak takpelah saya teruskan juga eh Okay so I did mention eh Dalam saya punya video eh um, Pasal Share consolidation Alright So Consolidate Dengan split Ialah opposite to each other Alright So you selalu dengar split eh Meaning Dulu Satu Lepas tu pecah lima Sebab par value singgit Pecah lima Dua puluh sen par Okay Apa yang berlaku pada Takaful Malaysia eh So Dia pecah lima So Usually company macam ni Sebab dia nak create volume And then at the same time Uh, dia nak murahkan balik harga dia supaya orang balik orang orang ramai boleh afford untuk beli saham tersebut. So dia ada benefit benefit kenapa dia nak buat the split. Okay, nak consolidate pun ada tujuan. Alright, mostly of the tujuan is to reduce speculation. Itu yang alasan yang selalu digunakan. Okay, apabila kita reduce the number of shares dalam market, we actually reduce the speculation of people trying to play around with the share. Tapi at the same time, you have to be careful of a companies that are trying to not solve problem. Okay, not solve problem. Okay, finally, ada seorang. Is me. Is me. Naim Daniel. Okay, ada gang dah. Coming. Alright, nice. Uh, 
Okay, saya duduk tunggu eh Siapa lah nak, nak tengok saya punya video ni <laughs> Alright, so maybe saya pun faham kan bawa bawa habis bekerja Lepas tu tengah hujan Maybe tengah jam Apa semua Okay, so Kalau you tengok balik video saya Masa saya post kat Bratislava tu Saya cerita pasal Tiga benda eh Okay You kena refer video-video lepas yang Masa saya kat Europe So, saya kat Bratislava, Slovakia Masa kat Bratislava Castle tu Saya cerita pasal Share split Share consolidation And Of the share capital reduction Okay, tiga tu Ilmu ni sangat penting eh Kalau you tak faham benda ni You might end up Buying a stock yang you rasa murah Ataupun stock yang you rasa Eh, tiba-tiba harga dia naik banyak So, you pun mula oh, Aku nak kejar ni Okay, you might end up making that mistake Sebab tu sangat penting This video is very important Ilmu yang saya ajar hari ni ni Sangat penting eh Okay So Share consolidation Macam saya cakap tadi Ialah opposite of share split Jadi Di sini Dia akan Consolidate Consolidate ni maknanya gabung semula Okay Tadi dia dah split 5 Contoh kan Satu pecah 5 Okay Sebab par dia singgit Dia pecahkan kepada 20 sen each share Jadi dia ada 5 So instead of dulu you ada 1000 unit You akan ada 5000 unit Tapi harga juga bahagi kepada 5 Ok kalau dulu RM10 dia akan pecah jadi RM2 each share Lepas tu pergerakan saham naik turun macam biasa lah Supply demand bergantung pada news, negative sentiment, bla 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 apa semua tu Alright So share consolidation ni dia terbalik Ok katakanlah saham tu dulu um, 50 sen ada 5 biji So dia nak consolidate balik 5 to 1 Maksudnya 5 biji jadikan balik sahaja satu saham Kalau dia 20 sen par dia akan jadi balik RM1 Dan harga dia 2 kali 5 So dia akan jadi harga mahal balik kepada RM10 Okay Itu share consolidation So saya harap you sangat clear eh, Apa benda share consolidation Okay Share consolidation tu tak menakutkan sangat Yang menakutkan sangat ialah apabila tujuan dia consolidate At the same time dia reduce the share capital Itu yang scary Okay because why apabila you reduce your you buat share capital reduction ni okey bermaksud you akan mengurangkan paid up company okey setiap saham issued kita kena bayar betul tak okey so case ni actually happen during mas dulu siapa yang dah lama dalam market Masa mass privatize hari tu pun benda yang sama berlaku okey they wipe off 90 cent out of a 1 dollar uh, apa paid up oh tinggal 10 sen je paid up siapa yang ingat uh, memang boleh ingat 90 sen tu untuk clear kan retail losses ok siapa yang tak study accounting sorry eh kalau you pening-pening ni that's why you need the basics eh ok so you can make the retail losses back to zero so next quarter when you make profit it becomes everything clean ok itu yang selalu digunakan taktik yang digunakan eh ok so dia reduce that one to zero that one dekat paid up dia akan decrease Menyebabkan You akan nampak clean balik Okay Sometimes they call it term dia You clean the balance sheet Alright Itu yang saya faham lah Macam tu Okay Jadi Case yang saya tengok hari ni Okay Yang saya tengah Kebetulan Okay Saya tengok by chance eh? Saya just orang kata tengah scroll 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 down Ada orang mention lah Pasal this company eh Okay People are mentioning about this company uh, Orang kata apa Company I dimension ni Alright So Dia consolidate And Daripada 4 sen Dia naik 8 sen And today Dia end up to become 2 sen balik Alright So itu yang saya cakap Be careful lah Okay Be careful When there is a proposal Of a consolidation And share capital reduction Is Is something yang Remiser-remiser semua pun takut Bila dengar that word Okay Dulu memang saya memang What is going on Apa pasal Kurang takut ni bila dengar share capital reduction ni Now then I understood Okay That it is a scary punya scenario Okay Because you are not solving the problem Okay The problem arise daripada awal adalah kerana business tu sendiri Okay Macam saya selalu kata Sebab tu saham adalah business Okay Focus on learning business Bukan focus on teknik graph Focus on learning business Okay Teknik graph adalah hanya untuk you have the kemahiran for entry dengan exit ataupun the right moment to enter and then you nak hold kan because you are investor okay but 
fahami konsep bisnes dahulu Okay, so if a business is in trouble Okay, you need to solve the problem inside the business itself Okay, not try to change the way Dulu banyak, oh kono-kono nak kurangkan manipulation of shares So you reduce the number of shares Sedangkan katakanlah Okay, saya cuma sebagai contoh Katakanlah manipulator tu memang ada dalam tu So dia sendiri pun tetap ada dalam tu juga Walaupun you consolidate So it doesn't change a thing The fact that this happen dah lah You dah reduce the capital reduct Your paid up capital Okay, your balance sheet has become clean You have reduced your Retain losses Waalaikumsalam Arin Santiago Okay, Waalaikumsalam So, you dah reduce Katakanlah zero Okay, ni berlaku Case ni bukannya berlaku Pertama kali Yang ni dah banyak kali eh. And Yang paling famous untuk kita Ialah Malaysia Airlines itself lah Alright So, dulu Dia dah clean the balance sheet The retail losses Hilang Daripada pandangan semua orang Okay But the paid up has decreased From dulu One dollar pa To only ten cent pa Jadi The next quarter make profit Okay Untuk orang baru Orang tak erti apa-apa Orang yang memang Noob gila Oh Mars is recovering Sedangkan The next quarter after that Rugi lagi banyak And end up with a Retain losses kembali Sedangkan Paid up dah tak ada dah You nak reduce Tinggal 10 sen Berapa banyak lagi You nak tolak Okay That's why you need injection dah pula Okay Maknanya, you kena introduce new, more new shares, okay, to increase back your pedal. Okay, so apa yang berlaku ialah macam ni lah, itu yang case saya cerita ni, okay. 4 sen, naik 8, now back to 2 cents. So, lepas ni, you dah reduce your capital reduction, so what's your next step? Dah tak ada lah. So, basically, you dah enter into a PN17, ataupun kalau is market, GN3. Okay, you will try, they will try to fight eh, because company akan fight... As long as they can to remain listed Okay, dia akan cuba Dia akan try to solve the problem Memang berusaha pun akan bagi chance juga Okay, sebab tu regulation plan tu Memang dibenarkan untuk Meminta extension Tetapi atas subject approval Kalau berusaha kata no That's the end of the game Okay Company tu akan end up delisting Kalau you still hold the shares You will end up burning 100% of your money Okay So Saya harap clear eh Sorry Banyak technical eh hari ni But This is a very important topic eh This is a very important topic So kalau Oh okay Sama-sama ha, Tak ada masalah Okay So macam saya tekan eh Understand the business first Okay To solve the problem Of a company that is in the red Nak datang balik ke black Okay You have to solve the business Not try to Manipulate around the number of shares Apa semua Itu takkan membantu What will help you is You need to Solve the problem Okay One of the things you got Why they want to clean the balance sheet Is usually because You want to get Loans Okay Because banks They akan refer balik kepada You punya financial statement So if you have your financial statement Is not cantik They might not give the loan Okay But if your financial You dah clean, cantik-cantik, apa semua You might be possible getting the loan Okay That is why Macam-macam lah Bila orang kata The company itself is desperate They are trying to solve the problem Dia akan fikir apa saja yang dia boleh buat Untuk Solve the problem Some will try to get right issue But Usually when the company is in a PN17 state Atau GN3 state Lagi-lagi you nak buat right issue Itu mencari padah namanya Okay because You are asking money from people And What are you going to use the money for? So definitely you akan kata Oh kita nak solve, 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 solve ni Orang takkan seronok nak dengar that thing Okay because right issue was meant to be rewarding the shareholder By giving at discount price compared to the market price And using that money to grow the company Not to solve the company's problem That Okay it was supposed to be using to Development Contoh Macam masing Masa dia minta rights tu Sebab dia nak guna Untuk development Cost Okay Dia nak bina More More properties So nanti dia jual Dia profit So it benefit the shareholder That's why dia buat right issue Sebab tu saya tengok Kadang-kadang Banyak kes right issue Salah digunakan Okay And when right issue Is not um, Completely Subscribe It has to be 
subscribe balik by the underwriter and the underwriter yang beli tu pula akan jual balik the share which will cause the share to go down okay that happens a lot eh uh, masa saya I think I pernah cover a case eh, last time masa that was tahun bila eh uh, I think it was the company Bumi Armada I think I think so tak ingat lama dah okay so right issue punya timing is very important Nanti mohon tuan 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 prospek Bursa Malaysia 2019. Okay, saya tak pernah cerita pasal market. Eh. Okay, you look at companies. Don't talk market. Market ni orang semua duk hype pasal market. We don't need to talk 2019, 2020. Cari company yang bagus sekarang and akan remain bagus 2019, 2020. Okay, don't talk about prospect. You are trying to speculate again. Dalam market jangan speculate. Okay, stop speculating. Come back to basic Come back to business Belajar business Sebab tu saya kata Siapa tak faham business Don't belong in the stock market Okay it's, This is a reality eh. It's, sorry if it's hurtful But you need to learn about business dahulu Belajar pasal business Kalau you tak faham business You are not meant to do in the stock market Okay Kita analyze business Bukan analyze market Market is different Market ni is Ikutlah dia nak sentimen nak jatuh ke nak apa ke macam saya kata sekarang ni tengah teruk kan cuba tengok takaful malaysia jatuh tak tak jatuh tengok lompat insurance tak jatuh alliance tak jatuh okay that's reality because the business has its core strength okay yang jatuh teruk ni apabila you tidak ada core strength okay you don't have the revenue is dropping by 40% profit dropping by 40% 60% so that's why yang drive, drive the market jatuh You kena tengok business. Jangan fikir sangat pasal trying to look at the prospect of bursa. What is the prospect of the world? Okay. The economists have been saying that, oh, the market is going to crash by what year, what not, apa semua. Sebab tu, masa interview si NBC dengan Warren Buffett, dia dah cakap, jangan economists are not billionaires. They are just merely economists. Okay, that's what they do. Is kerja dia orang. Memang kerja dia orang ialah forecasting, forecasting. Tapi kalau dia orang salah, ada 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 implication tak kalau ekonomi salah predict? Tak ada kan? Bukan masuk jail pun. So, that's what they is their job. Okay, they are paid to do it. Sebab tu dia orang write whatever yang of course ada ada basis apa semua, but nobody can actually predict what's going to happen. Especially kalau you talk 2019 apa nak jadi, 2020 apa nak jadi. Tak tahu. Tapi At least if you faham a business Okay Lagi-lagi macam saya Saya memang dalam bidang plantation Okay I was in the plantation for three and a half years And memang saya kau-kau saya belajar pasal plantation When I was working with Sandar B So I understand plantation Okay orang tu Bising-bising habis lah apa semua First kali Plantation company have asset apa Dia bukan intangible asset tau They have Tangible asset which is land Land is something that doesn't go down in price Okay If the company is in trouble What they need to do is They will sell the land They will make the gain there Okay that's how plantation need to survive Dikala dikala orang kata CPO not doing well if Regardless of ni How can certain companies still pay dividend Cuba you tanya soalan tu They are losing money Yet they are giving dividends It's because they have the biggest asset yang paling mahal which is land which appreciate appreciate every year. So you kena faham dekat situ. Saya dalam plantation so saya faham business. Sebab tu at the end of the day is business not market. Dari dulu lagi orang market 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 business talk about business. Okay J- jangan invest into something yang you tak faham business dia. Okay banyak orang into the steel. Sedangkan Malaysia saya tunjuk semalam kan. What is the rank of Malaysia in steel production? Nombor 39. So you, commodity, you are not even controlling the price of the commodity. You are orang kata kecil macam ni. Kalau kata kalau orang tak nak beli, you're still what can you do? That is why saya cakap dari dulu. Business sense is one of the elements to be good in stock market. You, If you don't like to read business news You don't like to read the age market You don't like to read any prospects in business Buka sok kabar Duk tengok majalah hiburan je Yang tak tengok je Masuk je business terus skip Ah, uh, Boring ni boring, boring 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 Don't play stock market Seriously don't play stock market Because you will burn your money This is an advice eh You will burn your money Sebab saya tak Saya sedih Saya sedih 
Okay Because saya tak rugi apa Even if I don't tell you this If you burn your money Do I lose money? Saya tak lose money Betul tak? Disebabkan I care for you guys Yang saya jenis yang sangat terus terang Okay I'm a very frank person Honest person Saya jenis straight and short to the heart Kalau perlu Because it is necessary Okay berlapik-lapik apa semua ni Sebab benda ni involve money tau Kalau setakat macam tak ada involve money tu Belakang cerita Kita boleh berlapik-lapik Kita cover Tapi bila involve money is hard earn money And most people Earn money the hard way Bukannya through passive income pun Kalau through passive income Kalau burn dia datang balik Sebab passive ni dia continuous Sebab people ah, You bangun pagi pukul 6 Semayang subuh apa semua Pukul 7 dah keluar mengadap jam Balik pula pukul 7 malam lagi Ngadap jam Tidur pukul 10 Repeat the cycle sampai umur 60 And then you end up by 60 years old You rasa oh market ni senang Market ni easy Everybody's talking about market Aku pun nak masuk market Kau burn duit kau This is a real case eh Saya memang kenal orang yang actually work their whole life Just to end up every single penny in the EPF Burn in the stock market Okay So it's a very sad case So please try to understand the stock market From a business perspective Not from a market perspective Okay If you keep speculating the market You will get burned Trust me Okay You have to understand business And of course Teori-teori yang semua ni lah All this Whatever one not Teori-teori fundamental ni Kena faham lah Okay But number one Kalau saya dulu Saya tekan ialah business Sebab tu First kali Saya tekan Masa untuk start dalam stock market Nombor satu Business yang kita sendiri Dalam that dalam that bidang Sebab tu masa saya start Journey saya dalam stock Okay Kalau you tengok lah Video saya yang lepas-lepas You would see that I always tekan Number one is the the feel that you are in because you are the best person that understand okay saya sendiri okay walaupun saya dalam stock for 10 years already i do not know everything so bila comes to macam one of saya punya kawan tegur saya tanya saya pasal pristaria okay they were doing software on knowledge ni saya hanya boleh bagi opinion based on the balance sheet based on the income statement yang saya tengok which is bagi saya macam mm, i'm not in Untuk level saya, saya tak interested sangat Tetapi, saya tak cakap kat dia No, kau jangan beli saham ni, tak guna apa So, saya tak mention macam tu Saya mention apa? Saya mention dekat dia This is not my expertise I am not in the IT punya I'm not in the IT segment So, the best person is You kena cari orang dalam IT Untuk dapatkan perspektif dia Okay, saya hanya boleh bagi perspektif dari segi Financial statements Adakah saham ni interesting bagi saya Which is to me, it's not interesting lah. At my level, I'm not interested. So, itu yang, apa yang dia patut buat. Dia kena, ni, sebab dia pun memang dia sendiri line IT. Okay, it's not my expertise. So, I can just give opinion. So, you nampak tak? First thing is ni. Tapi, as you go along the way, kalau kita rely on satu industri saja, maknanya, kita nak tahu pasal industri kita je. Okay, cuba you imagine that now properties not doing well, betul? And um, Apa lagi Sektor not doing well uh, I think it's Mostly on properties Properties yang paling Kena hit lah At the moment So kalau you still Stick dengan property saja, Maknanya I just want to buy Property stocks only Then you'll be in trouble Sebab tu After mastering your own You have to start Reading other-other Business juga Okay And then Nombor dua is You need the Friends Networking Sebab tu Sabtu Ahad Kalau boleh Jangan duk Jolly-jolly nak enjoy Try to create network Okay Try to meet people From other industries Yang boleh Orang kata Yang mempunyai Sama pemikiran macam you Okay Mempunyai sama pemikiran Maksudnya berminat Dalam pelaburan That kind of thing So Bila you nak Meet dengan dia is a win-win situation I call it Okay I want to meet you Because of your expertise Okay Tak ada orang kata Tak payah nak berkalis-kalis eh. I want to meet you Because of expertise What can I give you What can you give me it's a win-win situation. That's how we do business. Okay, that's how we learn. By doing a lot of networking. So, kalau saya nak tahu, tahu sesuatu yang pasal software development, saya memang dah ada kawan saya. Okay, cuma saya bukan jenis yang... For me, I don't really like the IT business sebab saya bukan into the IT sangat. 
all right i'm more into something of a physical business because when you talk about it business you know they are more into the tangible assets rather than eh, sorry intangible assets rather than tangible assets i love tangible assets cause saya suka measure nta saya suka measure net tangible asset assets should anything happen to the company after liquidation of all the li- after liquidation settle all the liabilities what is left for me as a shareholder Okay, saya lebih concern pada benda tu rather than having intangible assets. Because intangible assets are susah nak measure. Okay, saya pun tak tahu macam mana dia orang buat itu that that into that calculation. What is worth of that intangible assets? How much is a brand worth? So saya tak boleh, I cannot orang kata memahami that thing. But it's very simple when it is a tangible asset. Sebab tu saya suka business business like that. Saiful. Oh, lama tak jumpa Saiful. Sekarang kerja mana? Rasanya tukar company lagi kan rasanya. Itu yang last. Last, last kat mana itu. So, I hope that you you can understand eh. You can understand that when it comes to stock market, it's actually about business. Sebab tu saya pesan pada saya punya followers. Okay. Do a lot of reading. Okay. Jangan stop reading. If you stop reading... You will not get information And your perspective akan close Okay, because And I love to read articles Articles are not biased sangat Okay, compared to books or what not Books are more to They will write what They feel cause They are trying to sell that book Okay, saya lagi suka artikel That's why I love to Google I love to Google And I love to also read at academic research Okay, apa of view orang tentang sesuatu ni Okay, saya lagi suka baca pasal satu Itu adalah cara untuk saya nak faham bisnes tersebut Okay, apakah maybe they have another angle yang saya tak nampak So, it's something that I want to know And I want to make sure that I know that one Sebab anything, apa saja yang kita boleh tambah Knowledge-knowledge yang kita boleh tambah Dalam kita punya skills Is actually a risk mitigation Okay, when you... Do stock market, you have to have a risk mitigation plan. But for you to come up with a plan, you have to have the knowledge first to know what are the risks involved. So, itu saya tanya macam, okay, orang yang beli company Mega Steel, apa ke, whatever in the steel industry, what do you know about the steel commodity? Tak tahu. So, but you are buying a steel company, but you don't know anything about the steel commodity. Where are we in terms of export, apa semua, apa pun tak tahu. So, macam tu you panggil melabur. Itu bukan melabur, itu melebur. Okay, that's what happened in the real market. That is why when people enter the market, not many are successful, not many stay to the end. Eh. Selalu masuk ramai. Okay, dia dunia remiser ni kita orang dah banyak tengok. Eh. Masa register ramai. Ramai register. Okay, hype sebab semua orang dengar, oh sedapnya dia buat duit besar kat market. Sedap bestnya dia buat duit besar kat market. Bila dia masuk, dia cuba sendiri, dia rugi banyak, dia akan end up senyap dan dia terus ni. Uh, dan ad, yang senyap tu okey lagi lah. Tapi yang jenis yang macam saya panggil geng-geng merungut apa semua. Oh, stock market penipu, ni penipu, situ penipu, sini. Sendiri tak ada salah. Semua orang lain salah, sendiri tak ada salah. Okey, itu masalah dengan uh, orang kata it, that's the problem why people are not improving. is because dia banyak sangat menuding jari tapi tak tuding jari kat diri sendiri so I hope that one is very clear eh? ok asalnya topik ni just nak cerita pasal consolidation share capital reduction apa semua tiba-tiba dah masuk melencong ke arah business ke apa semua but anything that I've been sharing siapa yang dah lama tengok channel saya you would know that anything that I've been sharing is adalah berbentuk informasi ok and I'm not gonna like we sell ke apa mana ada hujung-hujung tu oh nak tahu lebih lanjut kau kena kita kau kena datang ke aku kau tak datang ke aku aku tak nak bagi tahu tak ada I don't have that kind of thing okay because class is always an option okay because I do intend to do classes but it is an option okay because some of you might want to meet me personally okay itu bergantung kepada uh, individu tersebut because some people dia macam saya kata eh setiap orang berbeza 
absorbing dia ada orang lambat ada orang cepat ada orang terlalu cepat okey jadi ada orang kena belajar face to face ada orang boleh belajar just by looking at videos YouTube tengok video-video percuma macam saya bagi ni ada orang boleh belajar that way so kita kena tengok kita ni dekat mana okey jadi sebab tu saya kata kelas hanyalah option tapi setiap video yang saya buat tak ada hiding anything okey it's all facts You can just actually just learn from my videos You also know my YouTube channel Ruki Saham Gakuen So saya akan upload Saya ada banyak video saya rakam tu hari tu So saya nak upload nanti ke Ruki Saham Gakuen The ugly side of the stock market Yes Okay the things that people don't want you to know Itu perkara biasa lah Okay Kalau stock market ni tak ada ugly side Semua orang dah jadi kaya The fact that ramai yang burn in the market Is because they don't See the reality but live in fantasy That's why saya selalu cakap Ruki Saham Gakuen tak jual fantasy They own Ruki Saham Gakuen is about reality Okay and reality is Stock market ni is not as simple as ABC Just like that And everybody can make money Baru belajar semalam 2 Kau dah boleh buat 200, 300 Kau tak ada ugi Mana ada Okay Kalau ada come Aku nak jumpa because aku nak menuntut dengan kau Okay, I would be amazed if you can prove to me you don't have losses. Okay, itu memang whoever yang cakap dia tak ada losses tu memang tipu lah. Alright, being in the market for a long time, you would definitely have paper losses. Okay, some to even have to cut. Even I myself pun pernah juga cut, bukan tak pernah cut. Okay, but it's not as often as orang lain eh. Cut, konon-konon tukar saham ni pula akan naik. Lepas padahal, dia tukar je next stock. Dia akan loss lagi Tukar next stock Dia loss lagi Macam mana tahu That's what Remiser can see Okay We can see the trades So we know What is reality What is fantasy Okay And macam saya selalu kata Bukan senang Nak jadi senang So itu adalah juga Satu reality So alright um, Alhamdulillah Thank you guys uh, Yang watch this video So um, bagi mereka yang tak tak dapat tengok saya live ni So hopefully you would watch the rakaman And then you would take a gist lah of what. Okay kita Orang kata dalam proses pembelajaran Kita bukannya kena absorb everything Okay absorb what you need Yang penting ialah Praktikan Okay how do you praktikan Kalau you tak ada duit sekalipun Is at least do a Saya panggil paper trade tu Okay Try to Buat satu yang cari saham yang tengah Share consolidation dengan tengah Uh, buat share capital reduction Okay Cuba you tengok at the end of the day Adakah saham itu akan end up bagus Ataupun adakah dia akan end up jahanam <laughs> Okay So you do your paper trade You tak rugi apa Okay Yang penting ialah you Continuously learn And practice what you learn Baru you akan always ingat dekat sini Okay Because Macam saya Selalu pesan eh dekat saya punya followers eh Jangan hafal formula Jangan hafal fakta Jangan hafal benda Fahamkan Okay We are not taking an exam Ni bukannya Zaman-zaman sekolah Bukan zaman uni Ini adalah zaman Realiti kehidupan Where you face the Harshness of reality So If you want to be Safe You want to be successful In the stock market investing world You need to learn as much Practic as much Bila you practic baru you Akan ilmu tu sentiasa lekat And the best lagi Kalau you dah rasa Ush, Aku rasa aku dah boleh faham to this level Turunkan pula ilmu ni Dekat somebody yang you know Yang orang kata Tak tahu langsung okay? Jangan rasa takut nak ajar orang eh. Kalau kau The more you teach people Lagi you sebenarnya You become better and better Okay, that's the key to efficient learning. Okay, aside from sendiri cari ilmu, sendiri baca, okay, sendiri hadamkan, you share with people. That's how I learn. Okay, I learn faster because I keep sharing. When I, I mention the same thing over and over and over. Cuma cara penyampaian tu mungkin berbeza. Eh. Okay, kucing saya ni. <laughs> Dia dah datang, tengok. <laughs> Okay, so thank you very much guys uh, for watching. Yang um, 
tak dapat tengok live ni You boleh tengok rakaman eh So Don't forget to watch all the other videos eh Of Rookie Saham Gakuen Okay Sharekan saya punya page Facebook So that a lot of other people can also benefit from the things that I've been sharing eh Daripada 2016 lagi So scroll down okay So saya juga tengah usaha untuk ambil balik video-video lama tu Nak upload lah YouTube But it's taking quite a long time lah Because saya pun banyak lagi kerja lain yang saya kena buat Aside from this uh, what, what I'm doing now okay So mana bila masa saya lapang baru saya boleh upload So I'll slowly slowly upload Semalam pun baru download few from the Google Drive yang saya simpan tu So saya akan slowly upload in the YouTube So, kalau you tak boleh tunggu that one Just go to the YouTube Rookie Saham Gakuen juga Dekat situ lagi lah Just click je Okay, dah, so far saya rasa dah ada 56 video kat situ So, tengoklah semua tu Okay, and try to learn something from it From it. Alright So, until then Saya nak ucapkan terima kasih semua again Pada yang watch Okay, so keep supporting Rookie Saham Gakuen InsyaAllah bila saya ada masa lagi Saya akan buat more sharing InsyaAllah Okay, sama-sama uh, Arin Santiago Alright, so till then uh, Mr. Rookie Sam, saya rajin out dulu um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh